Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this gentle and restorative practice. So um, when I sent my email out this morning, I said, hey, I'm probably going to be doing more restorative yoga unless you tell me otherwise. So if that's good for you, I think I'm going to stick with that. And part of the reason is in two days time, it's going to be a new moon slash solar eclipse. And um, I've been working a lot the last few days and it's caught up with me. And yesterday I was so exhausted, I couldn't even function. Um, I slept great and I'm feeling better this morning, but I just thought a little uh, restorative yoga might do us some good. Um, I'm gonna start us off with a quote from St. Francis of Assisi, and it may not be verbatim, but it's close to it. He once said, if you're doing work with your hands, that will make you a laborer. But if you're doing work with your hands and using your head, and in this circumstance, I'm going to state it as mindfulness, then you are a craftsman. And then it goes on to say, if you're using your hands, your head, and your heart, it makes you an artist. And I love that quote, and it's something that uh, Kristen Alpine used this morning. And she wrote that quote and wrote up a description about some of the food that we had prepared at this collaborative retreat that we did on Sunday. She has a business down in Fairhope, Alabama, where she does cooking classes. She used to be a nurse and she's always loved to cook and she started doing cooking classes on the side and now she's moved full time into that. She has a second property in Linville, Tennessee, just south of Columbia. And we designed this retreat where we could go and do yoga outside on the hilltop. And we did a shamanic fire ceremony and a shamanic journey. And then we did a cooking class. So when we went into her farmhouse and into her kitchen, she already had a lot of the things kind of prepared for us. But on one of the tables, she had um, kind of a station where we could make spring rolls using the rice paper that you, you know, dip in water to get it supple. And then she had all of these veggies and herbs kind of cut up for us to fill it in. So we had carrots and cucumber, mango, mint, avocado, and I'm pretty sure it was basil. And then we had some edible flowers that she bought from a business in Leapers Fork. And so, you know, that rice paper is really clear and we put some of the blooms where you could see it through the paper and then filled it up with all the veggies and then rolled it up kind of like a burrito. And then we made this peanut sauce that we dipped in and it was so beautiful, first of all, because it was so colorful, but then of course it was so flavorful as well. So that was the quote that she put up with it. And um, I'll say that again, since you're just joining us, if you're working with your hands, you're a laborer, but if you're using your hands as well as your head in this uh, form of state of mindfulness, you're a craftsman, but if you use your hands, your head, and your heart, you're an artist. So really, we are the artist and creators of our lives. And even when we're doing restorative yoga like we're going to do today, we'll be using our hands and our physical body to set up and to create these shapes and to make sure that the physical is comfortable. And we'll do this from a state of mindfulness and we'll use our breath work, some affirmations as a way to maintain our mindfulness through the practice. And then of course, that's also going to be in addition to our heart. So let's go ahead and begin. And we're gonna start off sitting and breathing. We'll do an active side bend, and then we're gonna to start to relax. So I'll meet you on the mat. So we'll begin in a comfortable seat. 
Resting with the palms on the lap. Closing the eyes. And just checking in with our bodies. Noticing how they feel. And what we are bringing to the mat with us today. So for instance, I did a couple retreats over the weekend. So I was in the car more than usual over the weekend. And my left so as is all bunched and bundled up. So just kind of do the inner investigative work inside of your body to notice what may be crying for some loving attention. Then check in with the framework of your mind. Is it full? Is it stressed? Or is it feeling pretty open and free? And there's no right or wrong answer. But bring your hands to prayer position at your heart. Let the palms represent the mind meeting the body. The mind and the body greeting the heart and soul. Let's take a few deep breaths. Encouraging a diaphragmatic breath that's calming to the nervous system. It's aiding to our digestive system and can provide a replenishment for the lungs. Then lace your hands up and reach the wrist up towards the sky above. Now, of course, if this is too much for your shoulders or too much for your wrist, you can always just have the arms framing the face like this and the hands separated out. And then we're going to curve over to one side. So just lean across. And then if your hands are separated, you may want that lower hand to ground. So side bending just helps to open up the breath more. And since we're going to be a little bit more restorative, we want to make sure that the breath has clearance. So inhale, come back to the top. Exhale, sway over to the other. Arms alongside your ears. Sits bones resting down. Forming a pattern with your breath. And inhale, rise back up, and then exhale, sweep the hands around you. All right, on your inhale, roll the shoulders back, tilt your head back. And as you exhale, draw the navel in and bow your chin to chest. So just a few seated cat cows to warm up the spine. Last one. And then inhale, re-erect the spine, bring the soles of the feet together. This will be our last little active piece. And we're just gonna sit and flutter the knees. Up and down. Do it for three, two, one, and release. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the restoration. So we're going to take 
the blocks and create a slide. So the first couple blocks are standing. Bolster stack like so. And I'm going to give you an option today for this one because um, this one can be a little intense, okay? Or it may not be accessible. So when our backs are kind of nestled up against that prop, this is your choice. You could take your right foot alongside your hip and lean back like this. However, I do know this isn't very gentle. So if your quad, your hip, your knee, your ankle is like, no, <laughs> that's not working out for me. You're gonna bring your right foot to your inner thigh and check in because you may need a pillow or blanket to prop that knee up. And you're going to lay back this way instead. If you experiment and maybe you can do both, you can pick one. I would pick the one that you feel like you need, or I would pick the one that you can comfortably breathe in, but maybe feel a little bit more sensation kicking in. And allow the arms to drape down beside you. Up turning your palms, closing your eyes, settling in, but making sure that you're not checking out. Otherwise, it's just labor. You want to include mindfulness of the breath. being ever watchful of our thoughts, paying attention to sensation, or anything else that wants to surface up to our awareness. Yoga is not just a science, it is also considered an art form. Think about what you're creating. Then attempt to breathe your way into a state of internal peace.
want to let go of any resistance, any holding, any traction that may be forming in the body, heart or mind. Slide the hands closer. We'll peel the head up. We use the arms in drawing in from the abdomen to lift our way up. Slide the right foot out. And we'll try our hand at the left leg. Maybe pulling the left foot back. So you're in like a half saddle. Again, only if that's working out for your quads, your knee, your ankle. And if not, you're gonna spin that foot around like a tree pose or a half butterfly and then recline. We haven't done this one in a while, so it may feel a little sensitive if you're joining me in that first option. But I noticed when I was laid out on that previous side, I felt resistance at first, but then the more I let go and surrendered into it, that sensation dissolved. My body fully accepted it, and then it felt better at the end. So if it pipes up and you can still breathe, just stick with it for a little bit and it may minimize. If it doesn't, you can always swap it out to the second option. Now let's relax and breathe. Affirming as you hold, energetic movement or unmoving peace, the choice is mine alone. Energetic movement or unmoving peace, the choice is mine alone. So let's see if we can develop that state of peacefulness to the mind and the body the heart, the soul.
Turn the palms down. Feel the back side of the head up and roll up to a seat. Releasing the left foot, extending the left leg. You can even bounce the knees. We're going to send the blocks away. and bring that bolster out in front. Now at this point, the blanket can go under your head, over your body. So what we're gonna do, and again, I'll give you a couple options. First option would be to slide the feet together and on top of the drawer bolster. And if that's too much sensation being fed into your inner thighs and hips, you're just going to cross the feet over to the floor on the opposite side. And that way you have additional support, the feet are farther away, and that sensation can fade out. Choose what's better for you today. We're going to rest here in reclined bound angle or butterfly. And really, you can take any shape with your arms. Getting grounded, you can rest the hands on the belly. Being receptive, you can have the palms open alongside you. And if you want to bring a little extra prana and openness up into your chest or heart, you can lace the fingers together, wrapping the hands up under your head. I would always take and suggest a few deep breaths. And this is the way we can train ourselves to go within, to stick with our mindfulness, but also more importantly, to enter into the heart. Inviting the affirmation into your mind. Secure in myself, I accept whatever is. Secure in myself, I accept whatever is.
slowly lift only your left knee. We're gonna do kind of a hybrid pose here. Pick up that left foot, clasp your hands around the top of the left shin, keeping your right leg in half butterfly. Control the breath again. Now let's return the left leg to butterfly and pick up the right knee and then take a hold of the shin. Now release your right foot to the top of the bolster. Turn your left knee up and stand that foot on the bolster and just rock your knees from side to side. And then let's turn over to the right. And then we're going to take our bolster so that it's going to actually come to the pelvic rim or those hip bones with the thighs laying on top, your feet widen. You may want that blanket where your arms are going to be because we're going to cross the arms. Basically, it's kind of like a passive crocodile, except we have the hips propped up on the bolster. And then once you're ready to settle in, cross the arms, lower your head. Some of you might prefer spreading the arms out in a gold crochet and flipping to one cheek. I would take at least seven controlled breaths before letting the breath control subside.
And if you're resting on one cheek, turn to the other. Firming mentally within, bones, muscles, movement. I surrender now. Anxiety, elation, depression, any and all turning thoughts. I now give over to the hands of peace. You're ready, slide your hands under your shoulders and slowly straighten the arms, push the hips back. Now, if you by chance have two bolsters, you're gonna stack one crossways and then the second one on top long ways. If you don't, but maybe you have one of those uh, rounded kind of like arm roll pillows, you can put that across your mat and the other one on top. 
And if you don't have two bolsters, you're going to use your blanket. And you can roll it or try fold it like that. And then it's like creating a plus sign. All right. You're going to sit on this bottom side after we created the plus sign. And then we'll slowly roll over the edge. And what you want to do is kind of shimmy back so that your shoulders, head and your neck are actually on the floor. You can keep the knees bent if that's better for the low back, or you can send the legs and straighten them out. So you're gonna find that it's very similar to a restorative bridge. We're just setting up the props a little differently today. If you're using the two bolsters like a plus sign instead of a blanket, then it's called a passive cross pose. And set up your arms any way of your liking. So you may have noticed on that previous pose with the bolster tucked up underneath the legs, it was giving us an opportunity to get a little tiny back bend through the lower area of the spine. Here, we're receiving it more in the mid-back region. Allow the waves of the breath to roll up and to rush and wash over the heart. Cleansing and purifying both the mind and heart. Remembering if you're just doing the physical portion, it's labor. I'm using mindfulness, being a craftsman, and as St. Francis said, using your hands, your body, with your mind and heart, you become an artist. your eyes closed and gazing into the mind's eye. Affirm here, I offer every thought as a bridge to divine grace. And as you're gazing towards your mind's eye, it may seem like a dark screen just as if you were watching a movie or documentary, I want you to picture in your mind's eye the masterpiece of your own life. Something that expresses who you are, who you've been shaped to be, and who you have become.
Notice this has an inverted quality with the hips and the heart being a little higher than the head. So this may be one of those poses that takes you into that state of calm, peaceful bliss. Like us to bend the knees now, if they're not already. And then pick up your left ankle, cross it over the right knee. You don't have to hug it in. You could just keep that right foot planted on the floor and left ankle crossed over the right thigh. Now let's step the left foot down and cross the right ankle over the left knee. Maintaining that inverted quality. Maintaining the flow of your breath.
stand down on the right foot and just roll away to your right. Casually come up to sit. And bring your hands to prayer. Sitting in quietude. And then we'll end with Harvin Tassada seated mountain pose today. So let's lift the hands over the crown, keeping the elbows splayed. Feel free to close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Hold the breath briefly at the top and then exhale, let it go. Breathing in. Retain and release. Third and final breath here. Deep breath in. Hold at the top. Now breathe it out in a way. Firming my thoughts and energy rise up towards the sky. Now bring the hands back home to the heart. Namaste.